There is something magical about hatching goslings, or taking something that might end up on your breakfast plate, keeping it warm for 30 days, and suddenly a life emerges from that white orb. Every time I hatch a baby bird, I feel like a friggin' wizard. Every single year on our farm, we hatch baby goslings. It's a huge part of our farm business, and I personally think it is the most magical time of the year. And it always seems like every time you hatch a gosling, some unexpected things happen. And in today's video, what I'm going to do is show you guys from start to finish what it's like to take a batch of eggs and turn them into a batch of baby gooselings. <laughs> Now, in order to start this entire process, you have to start with adult geese. Here on our farm, we have a breeding flock of 15 female geese as well as seven male ganders. Those 22 birds serve as the parents for all of the birds that I'm going to hatch Excuse this me, year. Miss. And so every morning I go out to the bird coops and I collect their eggs. And believe me, collecting goose eggs is not for the faint of heart. Those mother geese can be quite protective. Up, 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 up. But once I have those goose eggs collected, it's time to take them and put them in the incubator. Given the high ratio of males to female that I have with my flock, I'm pretty certain that all of the eggs are fertile. And so that's why every egg that I collect at this time of year, I'll just put right into the incubator. The incubator keeps the temperature exactly at the right point of 99.5 Fahrenheit degrees, and it keeps the humidity somewhere between 55 and 60%. The cabinet incubator I use also has a special turning function, and so you'll notice that it turns the eggs on an angle every 90 minutes or so. And the movement and rotation of the egg actually ensures the proper development of the embryo inside that egg. You can't make a tomlet without breaking some Greggs. Roughly eight or nine days after I put the eggs in the incubator, I like to pull them out and do something known as candling. Candling is when you take a flashlight or other bright light source and hold it up against the egg and check to see how the egg's developing. If you've got a healthy, viable embryo inside that egg, you'll typically start to see veins developing and you can even maybe see it pulsing and moving just a little bit. Now, sometimes you're gonna find eggs where nothing's going on. And if that's the case, I'll usually pull those eggs out of the incubator and set them aside. But so far with this batch of eggs, I have a lot of eggs where I'm seeing embryo development. And that's really, really exciting because that means a whole bunch of baby goslings. So in an attempt to increase the percentage of eggs I'm able to hatch, I'm doing something a little bit different this year than I've done in years past. I used to hatch all of my eggs out in a big cabinet egg incubator. But for this year, I'm gonna use separate incubators for when the eggs are just about to hatch and they're about to go into lockdown, which is the period of time I'm in right now. My hope is that using these incubators will give me a little bit more control and give me a better opportunity of making sure as many of the goslings hatch as possible. Usually my hatching percentages are somewhere between 40 and 50% of my eggs hatch, and so I'm hoping to beat that with this batch, and by doing things a little bit differently, I think that's gonna give me the best possible chance. Fingers crossed, but yes, we're in lockdown now, and so these eggs should be hatching very soon. Oh boy, you guys, I just got up this morning to check on the eggs, and this is really exciting. But. I see some pipping. And by pipping, I mean that they're just starting to crack open and the first of the baby birds are starting to come out. Now this process could take up to two or three days for all of the eggs that are going to hatch for them to hatch. So to help speed things along, I've actually set up a special time-lapse camera here to watch. Let's all get our buckets of popcorn and sit back and watch some little baby goslings get born.
<laughs> Would you guys listen to that? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Oh my gosh, I've got goslings everywhere here. Let's see, I can't even quick count how many there are. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there's seven in this one, and I see one, two, three, four, five, five in there. I think I've got 13 so far. And then there's several, like you can see this one right here that are still in the process of hatching. Will you look at them? They're little adorables. Hey there, little ones. How's it going? It's really exciting to have them out. I am not gonna get too excited though yet because I actually wanna keep giving them time to keep hatching. And so I'm gonna let them stay in there for the next, I don't know, 12 to 18 hours. And we'll check back in tomorrow morning to see if we have a few more that popped out. All right, it's now the next morning and I definitely have a whole bunch that have hatched. Unfortunately, I'm worried about this one right here. It looks like it might have given up. I might have a couple that I need to assist in the hatch. And so this is the part of the video where it gets a bit stressful. Welcome to the world, little guys. Hi there. Oh, look at you. You're adorable. Look at them. They are adorable. Hi, little ones. Oh my gosh, so much cuteness. Hi there, hi there, hello. Whoa, don't go anywhere. Hi there, hello. Come with me, come with me. All right, come with me, fellas and gals. All right, here comes the sun. Abby, I got some new friends. Yeah, those are goslings, Abby. I know, I know, they're just born. Welcome to your new home, little ones. There you go, there you go. All right, last one in. Okay. 10, 11, 12, 13. So we got 13 little goslings here. And we got one very curious Abby dog. All right, let's get you guys some water. We're gonna give you the baptism. Give it. Give it a drink, give it a drink. Meanwhile, back in the incubator room. This usually does not go well, and my odds of success are very low. Aw. Yeah, this one has been pipped for hours. Very carefully, helping crack this show. Oh, but this one does not look good. You come out. All right. I'm going to put you back in. Let you stay warm. We have one other one potentially alive in here. Put you back in and let you warm up. Aww, 
out and unfortunately it looks like this one died in the shell. That is too bad. Oh, this one looks a little trapped. This is this one should be easier. I actually find that the tool that's most useful in this situation is a chopstick. Because I want to be able to put like a very specific amount of pressure in certain points. Come on, can you wiggle? Oh no, it's still hooked up to its membrane. Alright, I'm not going to force you out. I don't want you to go. I've already helped your egg. So I'm going to put you in here with your brothers and sisters. I'm gonna give them some time to just stay warm and in the incubator and hopefully they emerge. Speaking of the Bruder house, what do we got in here? You guys having a party? What's going on? I decided to take a couple out for a little field trip and let them play in the grass. How are you doing? Oh, you guys are adorable. Hey, little ones. Hi, how's it going? You guys fluffed up really nicely. Oh, you did so good. Okay, we're gonna put you in this box. Yep, you come with me. You as well, come with me. Would you look at that? They're looking so much better now. They're doing good. Here, right, you're gonna go in this box as well. You know, it's always so nerve wracking and terrifying when you do assisted hatches and you try to save one of these little ones because we've had situations in the past when it didn't go so smoothly. But to bring them outside like this and have them be very happy and healthy is so rewarding. Okay, Toby, do you care to do the inspection? Yep. Yep, new ones. Yep, Abby. I know, new birds, more new birds. Hey guys. So little goslings, you have some brothers and sisters that are coming to join you. I know, there they are. You can definitely tell that the new ones are a little bit less strong and vigorous compared to their brothers and sisters. But hopefully they'll slot right in and fit in with everybody real soon. 